And then the account manager is R. Krieger there. Yes, that's okay. Renee. Yep. So let's take a look at Renee's actual sales pipeline. So if we go up to the top of the screen and click on your name. My name? Yep. Okay. And then go to sales pipeline. Go ahead and drop that down to Renee's name. So now here you can see a list of all the records that she's currently assigned to what she's working on. Okay. And so this is the only screen she needs to, leave, to, to load in the morning. This is her people. Okay. And she's only got 27 of them. So it's not difficult to, to search through. Now you can sort this list at the top of the screen where it says company. Yep. Click on the word company. What did that okay. just do to the list? I just put it alphabetical. So. Right. So you can do that by last contacted date. You can do that by commission. You can click on any of these and you can sort this list. Now she's not filling in a lot of this other information, like the confidence level of closing this deal that right. should be filled in with a high, low or medium so that the sales manager can virtually peek over the shoulder of this person to see uh, how many high level confidence deals are in the pipeline, how many low level deals are in the pipeline. Okay. She can also fill in the last contacted date so that the sales manager can look at this and say, wait a minute, these people have been here for three months. You haven't called them. Right. Does that make right. sense? Sure. And then if she has appointments scheduled with these people, that would be in the next call date. So the sales manager again can look at this list and identify which items are already in process and yeah. who's already scheduled for their next appointment. And then she can also set the close date. So that would be the date when she estimates she can close this deal. So she can estimate where her commissions will be at the end of the month. Okay. So you see the green box says account insight. Yeah. Okay. So as you look down that list, it says created by Bobby yeah. and it says activation status. And then yeah. it says account manager, none. Okay. That's why it's not on your pipeline. Okay. Okay. Go ahead and click the green check mark. Now that'll do two things. That's going to put it in your pipeline, but it's also going to put a note in the workflow timeline that says this person is now assigned to Bobby. So okay. if you wanted to work this lead for a little while and then it wasn't going anywhere and you wanted to pass it off to somebody else, you can change that account manager and a note will be written right in that timeline. Okay. Now we'll continue down the page all the way to the bottom. On the right hand side, it will say sales pipeline. And it says confidence empty. Click on the empty. Okay. Choose a confidence level of closing this deal. And then the green button. Okay. And then in the date field, choose the dates when you estimate you can close this deal. And then the amount, put the amount you think you can close this deal for. Okay. okay, perfect. And then your commission skills with this company, are they a percentage or are they a flat fee? Uh, it's a percentage. Okay, so we can set your percentage calculation under settings and then users. Uh, users, settings, users. Click on your name. So right there where it says commission rate. Okay. Let's uh, mouse over that question mark because I think there's a special way to put this in. Uh, 0 0.05 would be 5%. So put in the percentage with a period first. Okay, and then hit save. All right, so once this saves, the next thing you do is we're gonna to go to your sales pipeline and we'll be able to see all the people that you're assigned to and we'll be able to see your confidence level of closing the deal and what your commission will be on closing that deal. So sales pipeline. Yep. All right, so on the screen at the bottom, you see Kimberly yep. and it says confidence medium and it says value 5,000 and it says commission 50 and then it says mm -hmm. next call date on January 19th. And all these fields can be sorted so you know who you need to call next. Right. Okay. Does that help? Yeah.
That's what they want, I think. All right. Yeah, that's the sales pipeline. If you're a sales organization, you need the sales pipeline. <laughs>